I had this uh, paper towel tucked in here so that nothing could get back inside the engine. Pull that out. Now I'm going to take my non-hardening sealer. Going to go around the outside of this. And I'll put the gasket on the cover so that I can put the bolts back in and that'll help hold the gasket in place while I'm maneuvering it back onto the engine. Just need enough to fill up any of the microscopic imperfections in the mating surface. I'll take it and I'll just wipe over it one time to smooth out any of the high spots. So I line up the dowel pins with the holes that they belong to on the gasket, like so. Just get everything in place. It's a little tacky so it helps hold everything together. Now where the uh, push rod, the clutch push rod goes through, I'm going to put a little white grease on that before, right before I slide everything into place. Make it a little easier. A little hard getting in around the uh, getting in around the uh, wires and stuff that are there. wipe over it to smooth everything out make sure that there's no places that are missed like so and like I said using this non-hardening type if this ever has to come apart again which it will I'm sure over its lifetime and that'll make it easier to put it back together okay a little bit of silicone grease here it's just 90% silicone. Bought it at a uh, hardware store. You use it when you're uh, repairing faucets or whatnot. Just help uh, help things slide together a little easier, especially since you're working with uh, pushing uh, a rubber seal over a steel shaft. All right, then I'll get a little bit of lithium grease and put on the uh, clutch rod, like so. That'll help things keep moving. Like that. And then, uh, Put a little on the, on the end of it. Huh? And then carefully work everything back to where it was. Because these bolts are specific sizes, they do not interchange.
just okay I, I just had to tap that a little bit to get the uh, dowel set <coughs> but whatever you do don't use the bolts to draw the cover down make sure that the cover fits and then tighten the bolts into it like this hydraulic cylinder make sure that it can be pushed back into place by hand so that you know that it doesn't bind anywhere and then you can uh, go ahead and and tighten up your bolts and then I'll go ahead and torque everything down and there you have it new seal put the uh, kickstand switch back in place put the shifter back on put the foot peg back on refill the engine with oil and it'll all be done so cool have fun Dun 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 dun.